a rural mystery. The police discovered a dead man in a barn in the countryside. Apparently, he had hanged himself. There was nobody around except for several sheep in the barn. When the man was found, he was hanging four feet off the ground. The nearest wall was 15 feet away. There was no way he could have climbed up. How did he manage to hang himself? The sheep were arrested for the murder after they confessed to the crime. No, that's a lie. Actually, the man jumped off a bale of hay to commit suicide. This hay was later eaten by the sheep. Hey, that means in the first answer, the sheep could have made bail and gotten out of jail. <laughs> a bad omen. A rich businessman once had to fly from France to Italy. It was Friday night, and he was waiting for his flight at the airport. At one point, his bodyguard came up to him and told the businessman that it would be better to go to Italy by car. It turned out that he'd had a terrifying dream about their plane crashing. The businessman fired the bodyguard right away. Why did he do this? What else could he do if his bodyguard was sleeping instead of doing his job and protecting his employer? A train crash. There were two trains heading towards each other. They were going along the same track, and it was 7 o'clock on the same day. Still, the trains didn't crash. How is it possible? One of the trains was moving at 7 a.m. and the other at 7 p.m. A mysterious murder. It was a cold and rainy day. Mary felt depressed, so she decided to invite some friends over. But 30 minutes after their arrival, she was found murdered. The police questioned her friends. Laura said that she hadn't had any food all day. So she had been eating at the kitchen. Hannah informed the police that she had been swimming in the pool. Sam remembered that he had been reading one of Mary's books in the backyard. And Chris was painting in the living room at the time. So who murdered Mary? Shockingly, there were two murderers, Hannah and Sam. It was a cold and rainy day, remember? How could they read and swim outside? A missing wife. Mr. Brown's wife had gone missing. A detective came to investigate this case. Mr. Brown told him the following. The last time I saw my wife was in the morning. She was having breakfast. When I returned home at 6 p.m., her breakfast was still on the table, but she had disappeared. After these words, the detective immediately arrested Mr. Brown. Why did he do so? Time's up. When the detective arrived at the Brown's house, the breakfast was still steaming. This means that Mr. Brown had set up the scene right before he called the police. A gas leak. There was an attempt on Ethan's life. Somebody had organized a gas leak in his apartment. Luckily, Ethan survived, but he was taken to the hospital and was still unconscious. The police examined his apartment and found a glove left by the criminal. They set up an ambush, since the chances were high that the person who had wanted to kill Ethan would return for their glove. After several hours of waiting, somebody appeared. 
this person entered the apartment and lit a match. At this moment, the police officers came into sight. One of them insisted on arresting the stranger, but the other was sure that, although this person was suspicious, he wasn't guilty of the attempted murder. Which policeman was right? Well, did you sniff this one out? The policeman who stated that the man wasn't the murderer they had been waiting for. A person who recently started a gas leak wouldn't light a match. A tragic camping trip. A group of friends went on a camping trip. Three of them went to pick up some brush. When they returned, they found Lucy near a burning fire, dead. When the police arrived, they started to question the other three people. Mark, Lucy's boyfriend, Kate, Lucy's sister, and Jess, Lucy's best friend. When the officers examined their belongings, they found out that Mark had a knife and an axe. Kate had plenty of cosmetics, and Jess had a lighter, a bracelet, a medical kit, a jackknife, and several photos. The policeman immediately knew who the murderer was. Do you know? Ah, the murderer was Jess. She had a lot of Mark's photos since she was in love with him and wanted him to be single. A girl was standing on the windowsill washing a window in her apartment on the 43rd floor of a skyscraper. She finished washing the inside part and suddenly jumped out of the window. Why did she do this? And how come she not only survived, but didn't even have a scratch? The girl jumped out onto the balcony. She wanted to wash the window from the outside. Hostages Michael and his family were held hostage by a criminal in their own house. Suddenly, a phone started to ring. The criminal let Michael answer the phone, but he couldn't ask for help. Otherwise, the criminal would kill someone from his family. That's why all Michael said was, Hello, Dad. Can I help you? I'm at home now, and I'm very tired. If this isn't an emergency, I'll call you tomorrow. Now, I need to take the kids to bed. Surprisingly, after 15 minutes, the police came to the rescue and arrested the criminal. How did Michael manage to ask his father for help? When Michael was speaking, he was pressing the mute button to silence everything but the words help, home, emergency, call. Number 7. An escape route A man was trapped in a dark room. His only source of light was a candle. There were three doors leading out of the room. Behind one of them was a tunnel that would lead him outside. Behind the two other doors were concrete walls. The man had a key that opened any of the doors, but he could only use it once. Still, the man managed to escape. How did he do this? Give up? He brought the candle to each of the keyholes in turn. Near the door with the tunnel, the flame started to move. <laughs> 